Hi, welcome back to Casa Sisley Unboxings. I'm so glad to be back because I got um, a brand new BoxyCharm subscription for the year. I did it last year. I really, really enjoyed it. It got tons of amazing products. But I decided to take a little bit of a break because I accumulated so much and I wasn't really using everything um, that I wanted to get my bearings down a little bit. And then um, when I came back to some of my lifestyle boxes, I realized that it really was missing my makeup stuff and I really enjoy receiving it. So I went ahead and signed up again just in time for the boxy looks, which is something I did do before. I only got two last year because um again I just felt like I was getting so many products that I wasn't using. I didn't think it was worthwhile to add on like that bigger box. So the way it works is um I believe it's $25 a month um to be a boxy charm subscriber for the base box. They have something called a premium box, which you can't prepay, so I didn't get that. Um, I like to buy annual subscriptions as much as I can. Um, so I didn't get the premium subscription, um, which I believe is $45. Um, and then if you're an active BoxyCharm um, member, then three times uh, every other, like every third month, so four times a year, you can pay an additional $24.99. So you would be paying your $25 regular plus $24.99 and you would get what's called the Boxy Lux instead of the base box. Now, I, so, I know some people have like two different um, subscriptions so they can continue to get the base box while they get the Boxy Lux, but I don't have that. I just bought my annual um, base subscription and then I got charged the $24.99 every um, three months for the boxy lux and you can cancel that at any time so if i decide not to do that next time around i could just cancel the boxy lux component and continue receiving my base box so this is the box it's big bigger than my head um and i'm excited about it i've seen some other people's spoilers there's um one product in particular that i'm like really not excited to get because i've gotten it once before um so we'll see if it's in here um and if it is, I'll talk about it. And if it's not, I'll still tell you a little bit about it. Um, but this is the um, theme for this month. It's Glam Vibes Only. And I believe that's the same theme for all their boxes. So they have the Boxy Charm Base, then they have the Premium, and then they have the Boxy Lux this month. And I think it's the same theme for any kind of box. Um, and so let's see what we have first. So. We, I'm, this is hilarious because I think this is the third, this is the third one of these that I'm receiving. I got one last year. Um, this is the Cuccio Somatology Yoga Calm and Clean Epsom Salt Hands and Body Wash. This I got, um, last year from FabFitFun. Okay. Haven't used it yet. Then I got a summer's editor's box or whatever from um, FabFitFun and it was included in that. Now it said that I chose it, but I most definitely would not have chosen it. It was like one of the things that I could choose. I wouldn't have chosen it because I already have it, but whatever. So I got that second one and now I'm getting a third one from Boxy Lux, which is hilarious. So this is obviously a favorite for subscription boxes um and it's valued at 39.95 and it says a new shower cleansing body and hand wash ritual made to calm the senses using the finest ingredients epsom salt helps muscles feel reinvigorated after most intense of workouts pro vitamin b5 and shea butter keep your health feeling moisturized made with soothing and calming lavender oil okay i mean Honestly, I'm sure it's wonderful. I hope that when I finally use it, I'm like, this is the most amazing bath gel I've ever used because I have so many of them. I mean, I could always gift it, but I like to keep everything. It's bad. I don't like, I don't think I've given anybody anything from any of my subscription boxes, even though I constantly say that I will. That's not true. When I first started getting BoxyCharm last year, before I um, started actually using the makeup a lot, I did give away some of the items to um, family members and then like I immediately regretted it because I wanted everything, even things I don't use. I like just like to stockpile, it's bad. All right, anyway, <laughs> next thing, 
Clean Skin Club, clean towels, cleaner than your towel. Oh, let's find out what this is. This looks like a, like a face thing. Oh, it's a 25 pack, okay. Clean towels are the first disposable, organic, and 100% biodegradable face towel. We created this product to complete any skincare routine in the best way possible, ensuring the skin is super clean and untouched by bacteria and germs that harbor on regular washroom cloths. I mean, washroom towels. These towels are famed for their durability, ultra soft texture, and leaving users feeling fresh, clean, and confident in their skincare. They can be used to dry after cleansing or as a makeup removing cloth. And this box is valued at $9.95. So that's cute. I wonder if, um, I don't want to open it now, but I, I think it did say individually wrapped, right? It says 25 packs, so hopefully that means... Um, well, there must be 25 towelettes in there. And then I don't know if they're, um, you know what? I feel like opening it now because God knows I'm not going to share. I'm just going to keep it. So let's see. Let's see how this works. Oh, you got to like open this guy here. And then what happens? Oh, it's like a tissue. Oh, they're, they're not individually wrapped. Okay. So it's almost like a, like a tissue dispenser. Um, and that's kind of, that's kind of cool. I mean, it's like, it's like fancy. You feel like, like you're at a fancy, like hotel or something in your own bathroom. So that's kind of cool. I might use these sooner rather than later because I, um, I ran out of like my little, I always, uh, follow up my cleansing routine with like a single use, which is bad. I know I, I really should not have single use stuff as much um but i just ran out of them so i need something like that so that's perfect um next thing is the b oh no bior 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 <laughs> tomato serum it says uh wow this is 150 dollars what 150 dollars foxy charm because of it whoa Okay, that's fancy. That looks so pretty. Ooh. Bior Tomato Serum. Let's see. Tomato Serum is a powerful treatment that contains gently exfoliating tomato extract, brightening vitamin C, and collagen boosting peptides. It transforms your skin into a brighter, more youthful version of itself while imparting a healthy, luminous glow. Ooh. I don't even know how to open that. Oh. Oh my gosh, what is happening? It's like, what does this do? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having, it doesn't smell anything. I don't know why I'm having so much. Okay, so then this is like a dropper. Oh my goodness. I'm like so intimidated by this packaging. This is like fancy. Look at that, it just went back down. Ooh. Oh, I mean, I feel like a queen using this tomato serum. I should be eating more tomatoes is what I should be doing. It doesn't smell like anything. And it just goes on super fresh, actually. That's really nice. It's like very um, lightweight and it just disappears almost right away, which is really nice. Because I don't like putting stuff on my face that then um, it's like, ooh, until it goes away. Like, I don't like that so much. So this is really nice. I mean, it's $150. I have never put anything on my face that costs $150. So that's going to be nice. Then I have, oh, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Okay. Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter. Just when you thought Kilowatt couldn't get better, Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighters enter the game with this with the same creamy texture of the original in a mega effective foil-like finish with intense metallic edge, these buildable color-rich luminizers come in rule-defying shades that look equally killer on all skin tones. Ooh, can't wait to take a look. I don't think I have any Fenty products. Actually, that's a lie. I think I have an eye, eye, eyeshadow, like eye primer. Um, oh man, it's like, I don't even wanna, oh, yeah. I hate having to break the seal on things sometimes. I'd rather just open it from the other side. Um, and it's it's good. It was like the first eye, 
primer I ever used. Um, the only thing about it was that it like took forever to dry. So you put it on your eyelid and then you like had to go do something else for a while before it would fully dry and that was a little annoying. So, <gasps> ooh, look at that. That's pretty. I I was looking at um other people's spoilers and I thought it was like a, a split one. So this is different. Mm, I don't know. I guess this, it says it's a highlighter, but I never saw a highlighter that dark, but. I don't want to swatch it because it looks too pretty and I want to leave it like that until I decide I want to use it, which should be soon because I'm trying to be more adventurous with my makeup and I'm trying to get into everything. You know, I have not even tried or attempted to do any like bronzing stuff yet. So that didn't look like a bronzer because it's too like, shh. so I'm definitely going to try it out soon and see how it looks, but it is beautiful and the packaging is gorgeous. And that retails for $36. I'm sure that it does. This is Skin Camp Magic Eyes Collagen Hydrogel Eye Mask. Ooh, this is second. Ooh, this is a five pack too. So these must be, um, well, these must be tiny. I got um, Kinder Beauty just recently and um, it's a vegan box and beauty box and they sent some um like caffeinated uh um what's it called eye packs they look really cute i haven't tried them yet but i thought that's it seems to be like a popular item this season um because i didn't really get any last year and now they're popping up like in multiple boxes so let me just take a quick look and see what one of them looks like oh okay so you can see that they're in there. Oh, does this go under? It has like a little heart. I don't know if you can see that. Aw, that's cute. So what does it say? Skin Camp Hydrogel Rosy Hearts Eye Mask. Get glowing and selfie ready with this Hydra Gel Rosy Hearts Eye Mask. The proprietary formula is enriched with collagen, hyaluronic acid, amino acids, and caffeine. That's the same thing um, from the other box. So I guess they like to put caffeine under your eyes um, to help fight fine lines while depuffing and revitalizing the eye area. Eyes are left looking and feeling bright, revitalized, and youthful. And this packet of five um, is retailed at a retail value of $20. So that's cute because, you know, sometimes I like when um, skincare items give you more than one... Um, one application because that way you can like really try it out and see if you like that brand or even that treatment like something like this I've never tried so I'm gonna have five chances to see if I enjoy it you know so that I think is really nice when you get that this is a brush very cute and this is um persona persona cosmetics power brush the power brush is your multitasking dual-ended best friend this synthetic vegan brush allows you to highlight with one end and seamlessly apply your blush with the opposite end. Designed for powder and cream applications, $24. So this is great because they gave us a highlighter and now they gave us a brush for it. Let me see. I can't open it. I can't open it. There it is. Here's the seam. Where, where is it taking so long? I don't know why, but this little packaging reminds me of like old school what is it, J.C. Penny? Was it J.C. Penny or Sears or something that had this kind of print? Oh well, whatever. Oh, very cute. I like that. So you have your blush, and then you have your highlighter. Very nice. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, this is making me feel like the brushes I'm using right now suck. They're elf. Elf brushes which I think have seen their day and I have like tons of brushes I don't know why I'm not like changing them up already but I just used um I got I think it was uh one of my last boxycharm boxes I got uh like a breath like a makeup brush cleanser thing so I was getting ready to retire my elf brushes because I've been using them for a while and then I thought no let me clean them with this stuff and see if that makes any difference and they did and it was fine but I mean, I have, a, I have other sets of brushes, so I don't know why I don't just start using other brushes. All right, this is, oop, 
this is one of the um, bigger items. We have a palette, which I love. I love my eye, eyeshadow palettes. Hip Dot Zion Eyeshadow Palette. Conjuring the majestic beauty of the natural sweeping Utah canyons. Oh, my brother lives in Utah. Uh, take your look to the next level and dramatic reds, deep oranges, and the rich purples of Zion. Okay, that's kind of weird. Is Zion just the name of a place in Utah or Zion is like very religious? So it's giving me a weird vibe. Um, Cruelty-free, vegan, talc-free, paraben-free, phthalate-free, and mineral oil-free. This um, has a, a retail value of $30, so let's see. Oh, wow. All right, you know what? My little, you know how you get this guy? Look how dirty it is. I'm not happy about this. That could have just happened in um, transportation, so I'm not going to freak out. But I have to say... This is the messiest palette I've received from BoxyCharm, so whatever. That's the palette there. Those are the colors. It comes with a mirror, so I'm trying to avoid all the glare. But those are some pretty beautiful colors, and there's quite a few mattes um, versus shimmers, which I like. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, really? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven matte shades, and the rest are shimmers. One, two, three, four, four shimmers. Okay. I didn't, you know, I didn't realize because um, now that I'm trying to do my makeup more often, um, I didn't realize like how important this matte to shimmer ratio is um, when you have a palette like that, and uh, and so I really like this ratio because I do end up obviously needing more matte um, colors than shimmers. So something like this is great. You can you can see how easily you can mix a lot of these colors and create a lot of different looks, which is nice. And I'm not like super adventurous, so this uh, this is perfect because I can, my eyes already go into like those little oranges and like the, the um, gold colors, that looks pretty. And then the pink, you know, that could all work really easily. Um, so I, I enjoy that uh, aspect of it. And I think, I mean, the the packaging is pretty. I'm just a little annoyed that it came a little dirty. But, you know, that's, what are you going to do? You can tell nobody touched them. It just looks like it got banged around a little bit. So $30 value. Okay. And then, unfortunately, I did get the item I really didn't want. I really didn't. Um... I'm a little bit annoyed that I got this, but it is what it is. And obviously I couldn't pick to not get it. So this is the 111 Skin Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask. It's a five pack and it has a retail value of $135, which I know is like, what? That's ridiculous. Um, and it is, cause that's crazy. And the masks are beautiful. I mean, they come, First of all, the outside packaging is cool. And then uh, when you open it, you have uh, you have sep like five individual packs like this, which I mean, it's gorgeous packaging. And the masks themselves are super cool. They're, they're like, I don't know, they're like rubber or something. They're not your standard mask. They're definitely the fanciest sheet masks I've ever used um, or tried. But the thing with that, I don't know if it's the formula. I don't know if it's like the time of month I'm picking to use it, but every single time I've used it and I have one left, so I used them four times. Um, every single time I use them, I get some sort of breakout. Like I get um, some sort of um, like pimple or a blemish or something and at first I was just like oh that's weird because I I'm, I don't break out often so I just thought okay that's weird whatever and it wasn't until like the last one that I used which would have been my fourth one that I was like you know what I think it's the mask <laughs> like it's just I don't know what's in it that's causing that reaction for me but um it's too bad because it's a really, it, it, it is a really fancy, beautiful mask and 
it you you could tell that it has high quality ingredients you could tell that they put a lot of um, work into this product and it's beautiful I'm sure that it's worth the $135 it just doesn't work for me and so I'm a little bit bummed out about this and this is probably something I'll go ahead and pass along only because I just know it doesn't work for me. Um, but I'm also kind of shy to give it to anybody because I have super uncomplicated skin. I, I don't usually break out about anything. Like my skin reacts fairly well to almost all products. So if this is giving me a problem, it is likely to give others a problem. So that's why I, I don't know. It's kind of like a bummer. Um, I was really hoping to get something else. I saw that uh, Boxylux was also giving out like this beautiful brush set that I was like, yes, please give me that instead of this higher price item that I don't want. <laughs> but whatever, I don't know. I have one more mask, you know, in the original set that I received, which I think I either got from BoxyCharm last year or maybe one of my Fat Good Fun or Cosbox or something. Um, I have one more left and I will try it one more time. And if I break out again, then that's it. And this guy's going somewhere else, which is too bad, but it is a beautiful mask. And when you put it on, it feels like so refreshing and it feels like you're in a fancy spa. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a really um, like nice feeling super luxe it, like mask that is so cool but I guess my skin's not that fancy I don't know just didn't like it <laughs> but um anyway that's everything in the box um I got a little note here hello charmer welcome to clean skin club we hope you enjoy the experience of the world's first ever biodegradable sustainably sourced and ultra soft Face, oh, this must have come with the, oh, you get a 20% off coupon for those face towels. So that must have come with the other, um, on the, uh, oh, on the, uh, on the clean skin club. This is hilarious. This just came and it says apply on corners, mirror sticks, mirror stickers. I wonder if this is for the, um, never seen this before. I wonder if this is for the, um. Uh, the palette it must be because it may, it came all messy so maybe that's why <laughs> I don't know so confused today but um that's it for boxy Lux. I am excited I I feel like um it was worth trying the boxy Lux again I'm gonna see how it goes um and check out uh hopefully I'll have enough time to check out some of the spoilers for the second um round which would be so if this is September it would be for December Hopefully they have some spoilers to see in time for me to cancel um, if I don't see anything I like. Because um, Boxylux does tend to have more like skincare stuff and I do have tons of skincare right now with, that I probably will not be getting to. So it would be more exciting for me to continue receiving like palettes and like um, other makeup items that are a little bit easier to just sort of use and see if you like and um, you know, sort of have on hand as opposed to all the skincare stuff, which um, really it just kind of sits around for a while while you work on other products. So I don't know if I'm going to continue my Boxy Lux um, subscription, but we'll see. So far so good. I mean, I'm glad I did it because they, I, I'm really excited about the tomato serum and um, I really like the palette. Uh, so that's fine. I'm just kind of bummed about the 111 skin, but Stay lovely, right? Thanks for joining me. See you soon. I have tons of stuff coming, so I'll upload as soon as possible. All right, see you soon. Bye. Don't forget to comment and subscribe so I can keep adding um, more people to my community because I'm just starting out and I'm doing my best to uh, just sort of have fun with it. But I think the funnest part will be like hearing from people and seeing what they've received, what they're interested in, that kind of thing. All right, thanks so much. See you soon. Bye.